Hello, uh, YouTube. Uh, this is a, a, a instructional video on how to set up xDebug on a NetBeans. In this case, it's a NetBeans 8.2.2. I'm sorry, 8.0.2. Um, and on a uh, MAMP 3073 and uh, OSX one. Okay, so I need to be quick for the sake of time because it needs to be under 10 minutes, up to 10 minutes. Okay, so basically what you want to do, it's uh, you want to come here to xdebug wizard, xdebug.org slash for wizard.php and you need to copy and paste. Uh, so when you when you go to that page, sorry, you need to copy and paste your, um, your php.ini file and where you find that is you go to MAMP, click here on open web start page and you here you click php info and you need to copy all of this and paste it on that other page and how you do this you do command a to select everything then command c to copy then you go back to the uh, wizard and um, here is where you click there on the empty uh, division and then control v to paste everything and then analyze my php info output and it's going to give you a bunch of instructions uh, on how to download xdebug 2.26 because this is what you need given your php um, info uh, file so it tells you that you need to get uh, um, this this xdebug uh, so okay and but in this system it already comes in pre-packaged with it so you don't really need to download I mean I didn't need to download it in this environment and so basically what I had to do is just uh, pay attention to the step uh, 8 which is update the application this file right here so you have to go to applications map then php php 562 because that's what I'm using conf uh, php.ini okay so once you go to that uh, file which I have open here um, <clears throat> which is open right here okay up against your map blah 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 and um, at the end of this file at the very end you need to add the Xanax um, this you need to add this here so right after xdebug right here which is the very last thing uh, once you come once you come here what you're gonna find you're just gonna find this right there okay and uh, so right after that you click there make a space whatever and then and then you need to add all this stuff that I'm gonna add on the description of the video okay so you just add all that and um, and you then you save right so after you save that uh, you need to go to uh, NetBeans uh, in this case um, 8.0.2 and you go to uh, NetBeans preferences general and in general you're gonna punch in the PHP interpreter path which is in applications MAMP bin PHP PHP 562 or the or the PHP that you you know prefer then bin and PHP the one you're using so you have to go to PHP here yeah because you can go to so the general you go to PHP so general you know modify the uh, the uh, the default because it has something different then you go to debugging and use uh, debugger port 9000 and session ID netbeans dash x debug. Okay, so once you do that, you're, you're sweet. And then um, once you make all those changes, uh, you know, save the PHP that in it, you saved it with, with, with the lines that you added, right? This is really important. And here at the end, you can see the, the remote port 9000 and the ID key netbeans x debug like the, the change you made here in, um, in NetBeans. Okay, well, after you do those changes in, um, in MAM and, um, I mean, in, in, in NetBeans and the PHP.ini, you go to the MAM uh, GUI and you stop the server as you need to restart it. Okay, so, um, function the, uh, the password stops it and then you start it again and then you start the server so my skill is going to start in a second 
There you go. Also, another thing is like, I I down I on my uh, on my Mac I downloaded Chrome, okay, and I added an extension. So if you go here on, uh, go to settings, and you go to extensions, I um I added this uh, NetBeans connector, okay. So I'm I'm using Chrome for for doing the debugging here. So also you go to NetBeans preferences. I forgot to tell you this, but if you go to general which is breaking before you went to PHP, but now you go to general and web browser. I, it's usually by default, it's just gonna say default system browser, but I chose Chrome, given that I have that, you know, uh, that uh, extension I just told you. And I recommend perhaps you do that. Yeah. You don't really have to, maybe you can use a, you know, Firefox, whatever, but uh, this is what we're using. So now to run the um, the X debug, you come to NetBeans and you click uh, this button right here, and this but this is just gonna uh, debug the um, the 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 default project, the default project, which in this case is a local host for me, and I have the index file right there. So if you hit that, uh, the project is gonna look for the uh, index file that you that you know you have, and to add the uh, the the breakpoint. You just click on on the number on the line number, like I clicked it right there, and then you go debug, and it's, it opens up uh, um, Chrome, and then it's it's got the uh, the bar the debugging bar here. So you, you step over blah blah or continue, and then everything works, and then you stop, and uh, that's that's good. So now, if let's say you wanted to uh, debug another page by itself, not not start from the beginning from from the project, you can just you know uh, choose this 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 file right here at the uh, the 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 breakpoint, and then go up here debug, and you click debug file, okay, or uh, and blah, there you go, okay, and um, that's that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact. And uh, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not an expert or a guru or anything, but you know, I I guess I made it work. <laughs> it threw me out uh, into a loop because uh, I was um, you know editing the wrong PHP that any file. And after I, I realized that, then everything worked. Okay, so hopefully I'm gonna add more in the description and and uh, again. Good luck to you guys and take care. Bye.